Hi there, my name is Leland, a support engineer here at AdThis, and we're pleased to announce our official support for the IAB Europe Transparency and Consent Framework. The IAB EU Consent Framework is a cross-industry effort to help publishers, third-party technology vendors, and advertisers meet the transparency and user choice requirements of the General Data Protection Regulation, also known as GDPR. Websites that receive EU traffic can upgrade their consent tool to the IAB EU Consent Framework. The IAB EU Consent Framework provides website visitors a simple, straightforward, and transparent method to give consent for the collection of their data that contains information on how website visitors' data is used, including how third-party partners use it. The IAB EU Consent Framework also enables websites to collect and transmit consent signals to third parties. There are many consent management providers, each with their own advantages. Which one you will choose will depend on your particular needs, so it is important to research each one before selecting and implementing a consent management provider. To make things easier, here are a few examples of IAB consent management providers available today. For this tutorial, I'll be showing you how you can set up Quantcast Choice, a self-service consent management tool that is easy to use, easy to install, customizable, and can be installed on your website quickly. Best of all, it's free! To set up Quantcast's consent tool, first go to this URL. Once you're on the tool editor, enter your company or website's name. This is optional, but you can add your website's logo if you have one. For the types of users that should be asked for consent, customize the tool per your site's audience and requirements. The available options are only users in the EU, everyone, and never. For the purposes of this demonstration, I will select only users in the EU. You can then choose how long you'd like before asking the user again for consent upon visiting your site. For the purposes of this demonstration, we have 30 days listed. The tool then provides you with the ability to customize the purposes of data collection. The available options are information storage and access, personalization, ad selection delivery reporting, content selection delivery reporting, and measurement. For the purposes of this demonstration, I will select all five checkboxes on the purpose of the data collection, then I'll select the consent option for each purpose. If you wish to redirect your user if they do not consent, you can insert a URL to redirect them. This is optional and for the purpose of this video, I'm going to insert the link to my privacy policy, which will provide more information on my data collection and processing activities. When users consent, you can apply those settings to your site only, a group of your sites and other sites they visit online, your site and other sites they visit online, or a group of your sites only. If you select a group of sites, there are detailed instructions on how to provide a group domain. For this demo, I will select Your Site Only. Then, select the language you want the user interface to be in and click on Next. I will select English. Here in Part 2, you can change the color of all the buttons within the pop-up window, so it can match your site's branding. There are also two layout options you can choose from, either having the pop-up modal up front and center, or position on the bottom of your page like so. Each layout provides you with the same content and features. It just rearranges the structure of the tool. I will select the first layout. Once you've selected your preferred layout, I'll select the checkbox that says Show Reject Button, which provides your users with a choice. Now you can go in the Tool Preview Editor and edit the Privacy and Data Purpose copy of your consent tool by clicking on the text. You can change the title to your requirements, but for the initial screen body text, Quantcast provides three selections of sample language that you can choose from, and you cannot make changes to this text. For this next box, it shows you the purposes that you've selected on the previous screen, along with the description of each purpose. The title and introduction is customizable, so I'm going to customize this text to meet my site's requirements. In the third box, Quantcast provides visibility into the vendors who you may share the cookie data with, and you can check the technical implementation guide if you would like to further customize this feature to your site. I'm going to customize this text to meet my site's requirements. Almost done! Just enter in your information before I can click next to copy the code to place on my website. I will have to agree to Quantcast terms of service and privacy policy. Finally, copy the code by clicking copy to clipboard and paste this code within the head section of your website. For WordPress sites, the head section can be user found in your header.php theme file, and it is advised to paste it right before the closing head tag. Once I've pasted the code onto my site's head, you can configure whether you would like the defaults to be set to on or off. I'm going to insert this configuration towards the end of the Quantcast code after the last comma, which will allow the on-off toggle buttons are by default turned on within the consent tool. Lastly, just save the changes, go back to your website, and do a hard refresh, and the Quantcast Choice Consent Tool should appear! Now your website is more transparent about what data it collects, 
how it uses it, and the various vendors involved, allowing your users to have further control over their data. That's it! If you have any questions, please feel free to email help at addthis.com or send us a tweet at addthissupport, and our fabulous support team will be there to assist you. Thanks!